it's Jeremy again, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool Venn diagram in Illustrator CC. So I love playing with Venn diagrams, especially if you're an infographics designer or you do visual reports or you're just a, an illustrator. Sometimes you need to do Venn diagrams to show a point or create something. So I created this on one of my recent carousel posts. And if you don't know what a Venn diagram is, I'll just go to the internet real quick and you can find the definition here. It's pretty much when there's three logical relations between finite collection of different sets or, or things, right? When I, I typically just relate it with three overlapping three things like branding, strategy, and marketing. They overlap. Um, and like obviously you can see some different examples here of how people create Venn diagrams. And some of them are ugly, but you know, you can really find some interesting, interesting things. So I've got a simple black background in Illustrator. I'm gonna press L for the ellipse tool. Bring my toolbars up. The ellipse tool is on the left. I'm gonna move my toolbars over there. I'm gonna hold Shift and Alt. If you're on a Mac, it'll be Option. And I'm just gonna drag out a circle. So I've got my orange color selected and I've got this circle here. Now, in order for us to make a mathematical Venn diagram, what we need to do is select this circle, press R for the rotate tool, and then I'm gonna put my mouse over this bottom anchor point. I'm gonna hold Alt and left click once, make sure that my smart guide's on so it tells me I'm on top of the blue anchor point. And then all you have to do is you wanna type 360, put a dash and put three. So we're telling it to make sure to divide by three in the 360 degrees. And this will make sure that it's mathematically correct. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a copy. So click copy and you see it rotated it. And then all I have to do is press Control or Command D. And it duplicated and applied the same rotation. And now we've got an exact 360 Venn diagram, which is mathematically correct. And it's all neat, it's symmetrical, it's awesome. Sometimes you might want to have like this space in here a lot thicker. So sometimes what I do is I grab the circles and I bump them up like this. Or I grab this one and bump this up like this. And then I grab it and I drag it back into the center. And you can see my smart guides are turned on. So it's going to snap it. So that just helps us make a bigger space within these circles here, as you can see within the space. Because sometimes you might want to put a word or some, you know, numbers or whatever it is. So beautiful. So we've got this, which I love. And then I start to create some words. So typically I will like type something. And then I'll make like a cool font. Or a TT North, this one for design, strategy, and marketing, right? And one of the things I like to do is sometimes it doesn't feel right when it's in a space like this because it's not completely centered. So, what I like to do is make a box. I'll press M for the box, make it the same color as the background. And you can see it will make me give me space within the line there. So I'm gonna bring this text and sort of just drag it into the middle there. So now you can see we have this interconnecting line, but now we've got this box to make sure the text is fit. Because sometimes it feels cramped if you're like putting it inside this circle, right? I'll do the same for the other side as well. So I'll just duplicate this across, drag it, and I'll bring marketing up. And I can fit marketing right within there. As you can see, and I just made, this, they made them the same size. So you can see that it just makes it a lot neater. And then for design, I could do the same thing and bring it up there, but it works by itself inside this space here. Obviously, I can you know make it the same size or make it bigger. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. So that's how I've done that part. And now to get like this triangle thing, what I've done for that as well is I've made a get a star tool, drag out the star tool and press the down arrow key. This will help you make a triangle like this. For this one, I'm just gonna change to a different color. For now, make it this purple. And maybe, I'm just going to get my swatches panel up. And I'll choose one of the colors that I usually pick. This purple is cool. Beautiful. So now I'll have this triangle like this, you know, I'll scale it up and down. 
and I can bring it like this and then typically I bring it behind so it, you can see that the, the black box is covering it like that so you can see the interconnection and then I could leave the Venn diagram like this or I can make my strokes small or make them grey I can drop the stroke width down the top left make it thinner and get this cool effect which is amazing and then I can you know play around with colors or do whatever I want with the design there so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know in the comments below if you like creating Venn diagrams and if you use it in your design work on a day-to-day -day basis smash that like button and hit subscribe so you get the best design content every week hope you have an awesome day take it easy